Hey fellow tennis nerds, this video deals with Gae Monfils racket. Please excuse any bad pronunciation or misuse of the English language. I am a Swede living in the Mediterranean since 12 years. Now back to Monfils. Gae Monfils has always been a showman on the tennis court. I'm sure you've seen his amazing ability to jump two meters and hit like a, an impressive smash. It has not always given him the best results on the tennis court. Some people call it the French tennis player's curse or disease. It's more about the show and the entertainment than getting the win. So if we look at some French tennis players that are very good, it seems like they could have done more with their potential players such as Monfils, Songa, Gasquet and Pac. So at the time of recording this, Monfils is doing really well. Actually, he's in the ATP 250 final now in Montpellier and he's ranked at number nine in the world. So pretty good consistency and uh, he's been playing well of late. Uh, he uses a very control oriented and heavy frame. Pro stock terminology calls this an Wilson H19. What he endorses is a Wilson Ultra Tour, which has the same mold as his actual pro stock racket, but a lower static weight. So you can actually take the Wilson Ultra Tour, put some lead tape, some silicone, and try to get it up to your preferred spec. As I usually say, you shouldn't try to copy the pros because they use heavier rackets than what most recreational players should. So don't get too lost in that situation but uh, it's always interesting to know what they use but I don't think we should uh, imitate them too much. If you want something similar to Monfils you should try to get a uh, Wilson Ultra Tour before they're discontinued because that's what I've heard that Wilson might do for the Ultra update that's coming soon. Uh, so if you look at Monfils specs they're the following he has a 98 square inch head size he uses standard length racket I'm not 100% sure, some people say he uses a slightly extended racket, but this is what it has been measured from his actual rackets on Pro Stock Tennis. Uh, the strong weight is 361 grams, he uses a very headlight balance of 30 centimeters. Stiffness 58, so this is a very flexible racket that gives him a lot of feel and control. So very low powered, he has a quite large custom grip size, somewhere between 4 and 5 I think. He uses a leather grip and a Torna overgrip and the string pattern is 1820 and he uses no silicone in the handle which a lot of pros use to dampen vibrations and add some weight in the handle. Uh, this is foam filled which is similar to a lot of other Wilson rackets. So this is quite a hefty racket, extremely headlight balance. His specs could have changed somewhat, this is from 2014. But usually they don't change that much. Um, they should be pretty similar. He still uses the H19. If you have some other information, please comment on this video in the comments below or contact us via tennisner.net. If we talk about Monfils' style, it's more of a counter-punching style. I wouldn't say it's very different from Andy Murray. He has the weapons, in my opinion, to play more aggressive tennis, but he seems a bit reluctant to take the risks. Sometimes he gets way, way behind the baseline, plays long rallies with his mainly on defense, waiting for a mistake. I think he could have had better results with a more aggressive tennis and a more aggressive game style, but I guess he and his coach knows better, so uh, I really, know, really don't know what to say about that, but I just have a feeling that with his weapons and power, he could be a bit more aggressive on the tennis court and not have to play these ultra-long rallies. Uh, his racket history includes more flexible and control-oriented rackets for sure, uh, he started with a head prestige, as far as I'm aware, and which is very low powered, as you might know. And he moved to a Prince Rebel 95. This was the yellow Prince with the, um, the O ports, so very flexible, very low powered. And then he switched to the Wilson H19. Included in this video is some footage I shot from watching his match at the Mercedes Cup in Stuttgart. I try to go every year, it's a really nice event and you can get very close to the action, so I hope you enjoy that. Uh, it will be interesting to see now which racket Monfils will endorse, and now that Wilson likely will discontinue the Ultra Tour. And I'm also keen to hear what you think of his 2020 season and how he will do this year. Thanks for watching this Tennis Nerd video. Please like, subscribe and tell your friends about Tennis Nerd. Do you have any other ideas of the kind of content you would like to see on Tennis Nerd? Feel free to add your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're looking for a new racket but not sure which one to go for, and I know it's a it's a jungle out there, it's very difficult to know when the, all the, the brands have so many different racket models out. Please check out our racket and string consultation service in the Tennis Nerd shop. The address is tennisnerd.net slash shop. 
And if you want more Tennis Nerd content, become a patron at patreon.com slash tennis nerd. You will get unique content twice a week, only two bucks a month, and you can unsubscribe at any time. So I hope you find that worth your while. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and don't forget to play some tennis. There's some of this is changing the call on the right near sideline. The ball was called in. Kula für vier Zeit vor dem Spiel.
Das ist ein